there's a very twisted, messed up little boy. Ben, oh, he's been cursed from the second he was born. He got meningitis before he'd even reached six months old. His mum died tragically in South Africa. Kathy's dead. Which brought him back to England to live with his, his estranged father. He's got an uncle, like Ian Beale. Actually, his half-brother. He's got an uncle called Ian Beale. <laughs> no, still his half-brother, but we get the point. It's Ian Beale. Stella abusing him at, like, 12. <laughs> Only for her to kill herself. And then Ben was left kind of trapped Dad! with a drunken and drug addicted Phil. <laughs> Shy little boy, easily bullied. What were the Mitchells were meant to be up? Love dance and Billy Elliot. Oh, well, hang on, what's wrong with that? Oh, yeah, of course. It's quite clear how Ben has arrived to be this, uh, this very confused and complex young man today. Well, fair enough, really. If you are a semi-orphaned, abused half-brother of Ian Beale forced to live in Walford with Phil Mitchell as your father... Phil! <laughs> yep, that's going to do some long-lasting damage. We've seen Phil urge him to stand up for himself for many years. He says something to you again, you slap him down, yeah? Straight in, no mucking around, no messing around. And when Ben finally did, he attacked... he attacked Jordan. No, not that Jordan. Yes, that's the one. Whip. You can tell him on me he's gonna make anything change. Run into your dad like a big baby. I'm gonna get it twice as bad now. You need slapping down. Phil says stick up for yourself, he's someone over your hammer. You know, she says things a little bit too far at times. Technically a spanner. Thought he was meant to be a mechanic. Anyway, this was no laughing matter for Ben because the consequences of his first crime were disastrous. I therefore sentence you to a 15-month detention and training order. Ah! Escort the prisoner to the cells. For a shy, confused kid like Ben, getting sent down was the worst thing that could happen to him. He couldn't stand up for himself in school, so, you know, how is he going to cope inside? We understand each other. It seemed not particularly well. Some bad things happened to him in there, and Ben blames Phil for being in there, so the bad things that happened to him in there are Phil's fault. When Ben came out of the detention centre, it was immediately clear that his time inside had changed him. They do look very different, yeah. He grew up a lot. <laughs> we saw a, a much darker character on a very different path. Ben comes back from, from juvie. He walks in to Phil's house and there's the whole family round and they're all toasting Jay because this is his initiation into the Mitchell clan. You are now officially part of the Mitchell family. <laughs> so if you'd all like to raise your glasses, to Jay Mitchell. Jay Mitchell. Jay Mitchell. Cheers. Well, isn't this cosy? Ben was very upset when he found that Jay was in very much in the fold of Phil's arms, as it were. Don't get used to it. You'll be out soon. Oh, and you're going to make me, are you? I'll find a way. Yeah, of course you will. That's promise. Ben should be one getting the homecoming, getting the toast made. Ben should be to, to Ben, not to Jay. And... I think that sets the tone. I want him to be proud of me. I want to show him I'm as good as Jay. Jay's the, the son that Phil always wanted. Come on, my son. And again. Come on. Oh, it's a natural. Yeah, of course it is. It's a natural, isn't it? He wants his dad's approval. He wants his dad to pat him on the head and go, Well done, son. I'm proud of you. You're one of us. You're a Mitchell. I need to turn out of the box. Show my dad I'm not going to be... Around, we need to keep your fists up at all times. Keep your eyes on me. What's going to do? I just look at my gloves. Look at my eyes. And it was during his efforts to toughen up that viewers finally got confirmation of what everyone had suspected all along. When Ben finally came out to Phil, I don't think it was any surprise at all. Dad, I'm, I'm gay. He was a completely different child to the uh, to the son that Phil wanted and expected. Phil's confused by him. It's a difficult thing for Phil to get his head around. And obviously, he's, you know, he's uncomfortable and unhappy about him being gay. He's never been the man that his dad wanted in his eyes. He's not a Mitchell. He's not a man's man. He may not have had the Mitchell brawn, but he certainly had the brain to challenge his father. 
there was a, a, a very important line that Phil uh, responded to Ben, which was, you'll never be Mitchell enough for me. And the whole stalking storyline was Ben's attempt to show his dad that he can be Mitchell enough. Phil starts to receive letters, messages and photographs, all related to his past crime. And of course, as he doesn't have a lot of friends in the square, he suspects pretty much everyone. Ben conducted a campaign of psychological warfare with all the letters and uh, cuttings. So he's worried and uh, stressed Phil out as much as he possibly could. How far will you go to make his life a misery? It's been a long time coming, Sean. Depending on which side of the bed he gets out in the morning, he either wants his dad to suffer or he wants his dad to throw his arms around him for approval. After a seemingly harmless public humiliation... <laughs> Come on, get out of the car, let a proper driver have a go. Come on. Ben had finally had enough, and as a result, he lied to Marsden about Phil murdering Stella. He was going to kill Stella. And it means for what she did to me. It just takes things further than... A normal person would take him. He told her to jump. Otherwise he'd push her. It wasn't long before Phil found out the shocking truth. He should have clear things up. Well, it was you! You! Yeah! And I loved every minute of it. Phil was instantly arrested for murder and looked like he was going to go down for quite a long time. Philip Mitchell, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Stella Crawford. After years of trying to prove himself to his dad, it seemed Ben had finally turned to the dark side. So, what do you reckon then, Dad? You're proud of me? Am I enough for Mitchell for you now? 